Most people in America are looking for how do I make a life worth living or a term worth having. When we do these things, we're of course looking at how do I use my skill sets, my talents, my abilities, and my past along with my potential to be employed either by myself in my own individual business, my own individual corporation, my own website, my own online business, my own offline business, my own thing, or for a company that employs me within a individual department, team, or for the overall corporation. You see, it's not really rock and science how we get employed today or how we earn our in our income today or literally build our re resources and our revenue today. But what is difficult for most people is how difficult it can be right now during a time of COVID to get a job today. Many people are collecting unemployment insurance, but that's not me. I am still living in poverty because I came from owning my own business. I'm not depleted from a corporation as an employee, although I did work for a short time at a marvelous company called Duluth Trading Company, but that's not important. What I was doing there was biding my time while my father was dying. Now, is that particular job going to help me in the world in which I'm working towards now? No, because at the present time, I'm being evaluated for a lot of different types of positions based on the content and foundation of my curriculum vitae. And when I say that, it means that my entire life's work, my body of work, my written work, my video work, my creative work, and my past work, my author work, is being looked at by different types of people in different types of industry. It might be someone up as high up as a vice president in political consulting, or it might be as easy as someone who's a marketing manager in a company that's looking at me for secret shopping, or it might be someone who's needing some employee training written, or it's possibly an independent business professional that really needs to figure out how they can get their company, their little bitty micro business off the ground better. But these are my opportunities in America. By trade, by university degree, I am technically a reporter, a photojournalist in particular, within specialization of Indiana University. But the minute that I share that content, the people who have been personally attacking my life might go to the university and try to ruin my records. I'll be curious if I'm still listed at having to graduated there, and hopefully I'll be able to prove that every day. But the people who commit identity theft and fraud on our lives today really must be caught. And they must be caught whether or not they're involved in our original biological family in some way or extended family, or whether they're part of our social networks that we mo maybe once met on a fluke as a total stranger, or whether they're a complete and utter international citizen who's here for a studentship but is just playing around to have a good time. There are, of course, other people in the community like pen panhandlers and many camps who actually have marvelous technological skills because they spend all their waking hours and their, their off hours of not having a job studying these things online. And that gives them additional skill sets, but they're basically up to no good. They're not going into our companies. They're not going into our cities. They're not going into our organizations. They're not going into our corporations to get a job. They're using it to abuse you and me.